Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Two more days of the oppressive weather. Yep, uh, very high humidity, temperatures up a little more tomorrow mid maybe upper 90s in a few spots. This is the report from today. Highs, official highs. Lebanon top in the list at 95. So the upper valley was the hottest today. Burlington at 93. Same in Brattleboro, Messina 90. The uh, highest feels like temperature that I saw was 101 in Montreal because it was hot and it was very humid at the same time. That's how you maximize the feels like temperature. So downtown Brattleboro, hey, look at that, a little bit of a breeze there with the flag. So that'll help if you don't have AC. It's still 77 though, feels like 78 because it's very humid as of 1114. Always love to check in on the NBC5 lightning counter summary. This is the last 24 hours, not a whole lot locally within our borders. Whole bunch there, north and west of Montreal and Watertown and southwest of Syracuse. Our time is coming, though. Uh, for some of us, it'll be tomorrow, but especially Thursday. That's the cold front that comes in. So the only storminess right now is over the Finger Lakes. Some of those blow-off clouds will be overhead tomorrow morning, but I think we'll have enough sunshine to achieve the temperatures that we're forecasting. 83 right now in Burlington. You know, we're probably going to set what's called a record high minimum. In other words, today, the temperature has not gone below 74 at all at the airport. That would be a new record high minimum, and I don't think it's going to happen here in the next hour or two. I mean, we're still in the 80s. Dew points, about 70, so the oppressive humidity. Here we go on Futurecast. Dry in the morning, sun mixing with clouds. In the afternoon, once again, there'll be a few showers or storms that pop up, but they're random where it happens. So it's hard to say. I guess the only thing that increases the chance a little bit is mountains. So if you if you live in the mountains, that helps the air go up a little, but it's not like we've got a front to track tomorrow. There's no front nearby until Thursday. So Thursday, there will be more thunderstorms. I think it's easier to predict them on Thursday because it's hot, it's humid. That's the fuel. And then the trigger, as we call it, would be the front coming on down from Canada. So this is 5 p.m. There's still a band of thunderstorms from Saranac Lake to Burlington to Montpelier and 6 o'clock. Yep, still there. And then south after that. So by late Thursday evening, it starts to clear out. The humidity comes down. Friday's a lot nicer. It's not totally sunny. I think it's mostly cloudy. But with the front largely to our south, the humidity goes away. It'll just feel so much better, even if there's a light little shower around. So Thursday afternoon is still humid, but by Thursday evening, here comes that drier air. The movement on it is north to south, so looks a lot better feeling for Thursday night and Friday. So on Lake Champlain tomorrow, the wind coming out of the south, 5 to 15 knots. Water's at 68, but I really think it'll be in the mid-70s by this weekend. So, Thunder Road, the big Governor's Cup, 45th running Thursday night. The problem is most of those storms are in the afternoon or early evening. I think they definitely clear out later on. The question is, does the front speed up a little? Can we squeeze it in? Or is it a little too slow? But I definitely think the trend is better towards the later hours on Thursday. So we'll have to be glued to that front timing, especially tomorrow, and see how it trends over time. Temperatures tonight don't offer much relief, that's for sure, but it is a launching pad for upper 80s in Lake Placid, low 90s in Plattsburgh tomorrow, perhaps upper 90s in Burlington. I think most of us are low in mid 90s though tomorrow. Lebanon mid 90s again, 96 in Brattleboro. So here comes the extended forecast Friday, a lot of clouds, but briefly less humid. That'll be a nice change. Showers Saturday, some storms on Sunday lingering into Monday morning, but Monday late Tuesday and Wednesday of next week looking really good at this point. Brian Liz.